Nerd YouTube. This is Black Ninja. And welcome to another video. All right, this month, uh, what you get for free on the PSN Plus network, okay? If you have PlayStation Plus, and that's probably everyone who owns a PlayStation 4, because now you have to pay to play online, which I still don't like, okay? But fortunately, Sony throws in a lot of incentives for uh, you to pay for that service because uh, a lot of free games come with it folks and if you compare it to <coughs> if you compare it to Steam remember uh, when uh, PC gamers used to brag about how cheap the games were on Steam and how great Steam was because you could get such great sales well now PlayStation has brought that kind of experience to the console, okay? And not only do they give you great sales, okay, but they give you a lot of free games, and we're going to we're going to talk about this, all right? Now, this month you're going to get Tomb Raider for 29.99 if you don't have PlayStation Plus membership. If you do, if you have PlayStation Plus membership, it's free. And this is Tomb Raider, folks. You go out to GameStop, brand new, this game is still $59, alright? Uh, used, it's about $49. So, <coughs> you can't beat that, folks. Um, here we go. We're going to go down the list. Uh, Thomas uh, Was Alone, that's a... Uh, Sounds like an indie game. Don't know much about it. I'm not going to claim that I do. It's $9.99. It's free for the PlayStation Plus members. Lone Survivor is $12.99. It's free for the PlayStation Survivors. I mean, PlayStation uh, Plus members. Uh, Remember Me, $39.99. Free for the PlayStation Plus members. Payday, it's been free for a long time now. Uh, thirty nine ninety nine. Now get this. I know many of you say that it's only free as long as you have the PlayStation Plus member membership. And once your PlayStation Plus membership runs out and you stop paying for it, uh, all these games that were free are uh, gone. You, you no longer have access to. And that's true, folks. It is. But let's go back to this game um, here. Okay, uh, Tomb Raider. All right. If you're if you decide that you want to purchase this twenty nine ninety nine right now, okay, instead of getting it for free, all right, that game is yours even when your PlayStation Plus membership runs out. Okay, so for twenty nine ninety nine, you got this game for the rest of your life in your computer. I mean, not your computer, but in your uh, PlayStation Four Four. Where I guess if you buy, oh no, this one, this one is actually for the PlayStation 3. So twenty nine ninety nine, okay. If you buy this for twenty nine ninety nine, download it. It's yours forever. <clears throat> but if you're a PlayStation Plus member, member, and you intend to be a PlayStation Plus member for the life of your console, I don't see why you need to purchase it. Just get it for free. And you play it as long as you want until you have, and you decide, you know, you want to switch consoles and you want to go to the Xbox and you don't want to play, you know, you don't want to pay for PlayStation Plus anymore. But, you know, <clears throat> unless you're a game collector and you like to collect games, you know, if you trade in games, this is the way to go, actually. You know, you don't, you're paying less or you're getting it for free and uh, it's not costing you anything, it's not costing you much. So, why not? Uh, Bioshock. Free, still. $39.99 if you're not a Plus member. Brothers, $14.99. Free, if you're not a Plus, uh, if you're a Plus member. Borderlands has been free for a long time here. PlayStation 3. Uh, free if you're a Plus member. $29.99 if you're not. Okay? Um, and, let me see. Um, for 12 months now, uh, PlayStation Plus membership is $49.99, 3 months is $17.99, and 1 month is $9.99. Um, many of you who, who don't have $49.99 might opt to just pay per month $9.99, that's, 
really just wasting your money. If you you really should save your money uh, and pay the whole year out for forty nine ninety nine. That is a great deal. As soon as you, I mean, it, it's like some of you will save up forty nine ninety nine to buy a game. Um, it is better to just go ahead and pay for PlayStation Plus for forty nine ninety nine and get like several games because you're gonna get several free games. All right. Um, and this doesn't include, this does not include right now, uh, the number of free Vita games that you get. I mean, this covers PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita, alright? <clears throat> so, let me see. It's a little, uh, actually, I'm going to play this little video here, just so you can watch this real quick. I'm going to turn up the sound. PlayStation Plus, and this is your instant game collection for March 2014. We've got plenty of free games for you to download this month on your PS4, PS3, and PS Vita, including Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition, Tomb Raider, Thomas is Alone, and Unit 13. We'll kick things off with your free PS4 games. Zombies are a pain in the butt. They're gross and won't shut up about brains. So buddy up and take down hordes of those undead jerks with Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition. Strategy is key in this twin stick shooter, so make sure you have a battle plan. This title also takes the share button to a new level. Broadcast your experience, and viewers can periodically vote to make your life easier or harder. Now let's move along to your free PS3 game. Poor Lara Croft. All she wants to do is take a nice boat ride and find a lost society, but then everything goes to hell. Tomb Raider tells the story of how young Lara transforms into the legendary adventurer we all know and love. Lara endures a lot throughout the game, including an impaling or two, so I hope you aren't too squeamish. To survive on this island, you'll craft, explore, and hunt. Sorry, Bambi. Lone Survivor, the director's cut, takes the survival horror genre and places it in a 2D retro-style adventure game. There are weird, slushy zombie things around that you'll need to avoid or kill, but good luck finding any ammo. It doesn't help that the main character is almost as creepy as the monsters, so yeah, you probably won't be sleeping anytime soon. Thomas may start out alone, but don't worry, he makes a few friends. Thomas is an artificial intelligence depicted as a tiny red rectangle, and he meets fellow shapes, like John, a tall yellow rectangle, and Claire, a blue square. Thomas is alone as a puzzle platformer, so you'll need to figure out how to make the most of your crew's special abilities. Finally, it's time for some PSV to love. If you want a third-person shooter experience on the go, you should definitely download Unit 13. Featuring more than 30 missions with different objectives, like staying in stealth or clearing the level as fast as possible, you'll want to select a soldier that's most suited for the job. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite is one of those games you can fall into for hundreds of hours. You'll battle creatures and loot their bodies for ingredients to craft new weapons such as armor, so you can kill even bigger monsters. Best of all, you can play with up to four friends and hire kitty companions. Grip up and prepare to take down bizarre monsters together, like this weird hippo gorilla thing. Seriously, what is that? As always, plus members can access the massive list of free games in the instant game collection, so head over to PlayStation Store and download them now. Our members also receive awesome benefits across PS4, PS3, and PS Vita, including online game saves, huge discounts on PlayStation Store, automatic game updates, and online multiplayer on PlayStation 4. These games and other benefits will be hitting at various times across the month, so be sure to check out the PlayStation blog each week to see what Plus has to offer. Today's game all right, so that's uh, just a sample of the games that you'll be getting uh, for free and uh, at a big discount. So, um, if you guys haven't checked out the PlayStation uh, Store yet uh, lately, you go check it out because um, I haven't checked it in about almost a week now, and I, I just went in there to see what I'm gonna spend my little bit of money that I have left in the account and. Be, lo and behold, I mean, Tomb Raider for free? Come on. I just bought that motherfucker, like, last month. And, um, I paid full price, 59 Uh, you know, but I, I don't mind. I'm supporting the industry. They got to make money, right? But, uh, it was a good game. Now, if it was a mediocre game, I'd be pretty pissed. But, it was a good game. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was well worth the money. But now, I can actually go and trade the play uh a tomb raider uh if i want to 
and opt to download the free version here and have it on my hard drive and don't have to have, I don't have to ever worry about uh you know putting in a disc to play it anymore you know but but the thing is is uh I'm not a collector but sometimes when I really like a game I like to have the hard copy it's just uh I I guess it's the little bit of collector in me so I don't think I'll trade it in I don't need the money I don't I don't need I don't need to trade games in so I might just go ahead and keep it but then again uh, you know it's just like taking up space and I really don't need it do I do I really want to keep it um when I'm going to have a digital copy of it in my hard drive so I don't know it's like a it's like one of them things where I want to keep it I guess to co keep it as a memento or whatever but yeah we'll we'll see we'll see we'll, we'll see what I do um, but uh, I figured that there's going to be some games that is never going to show up on PS in uh, Plus as free or on discount. So those games I'll definitely keep. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I mean, uh, if you're if you're very limited uh, in budget, <clears throat> PlayStation is the way to go, folks. You buy that. Not only do you save a hundred dollars over the Xbox One, but you get umpteen amount of free games throughout the year okay I mean these games are constantly changing the free games and once you download it into your hard drive even when it's not free anymore you got it for free so you're going to keep on playing it for free and every year all you have to do is pay the price of one game no less than the price of one game fifty dollars and you get to play all year round all these free games and if you really really want to buy a new game usually um, after about first first two first month first uh, first month or the second month the hit title will go down in price uh, I, I I would uh, venture to even guess that infamous second son would probably wind up dropping down to about forty nine dollars next month probably even cheaper than months after that and there's a good chance it might even wind up for free for PlayStation Plus members okay and that's good news okay that's great okay these uh Sony haters you know they're they're saying oh it's going to wind up in the bargain bin so fucking what that's great for the gamers okay that's great it's a good game winds up in the bargain bin is a win-win situation for the gamers okay and these Xbox and PC fanboys who uh, hate on the Sony fans use any argument, anything they can, to just bash Sony and their fans. And uh, there's nothing that's going on on the Sony side of things right now that is negative for Sony uh, for gamers. Okay, it's all positive. Free games, cheap games, great hardware, great support. And uh, we all know the history of Sony, so they're gonna they're gonna keep on supporting you. So, all right, uh, just just give you a little update on this video, and uh, let you know that uh, here are some more games that are exclusively free to PlayStation Plus. Uh, um, Need for Speed Rivals, okay, for PlayStation Three. All right, been. I actually uh, was deciding whether to buy this game or Tomb Raider when I was at GameStop, but you know I was, you know I went I went there to buy Tomb Raider, then I saw this game and I was like, Need for Speed Rivals, hmm, that looks fun. And, but I wound up actually buying Gran Turismo uh, Six, and um, I didn't get this game. Now it's free, so I can get to actually download it and try it. Yeah, <laughs> what a deal, brother in law, uh, brother in arms. Hell's Highway. Uh, we we know Bioshock. Oh, um, guess what, folks? Grand Theft Auto uh, exclusive, uh, free. Grand Theft Auto 4, okay. Army of Two free. Battlefield 3 is free. Mortal Kombat is free. Mirror's Edge is free, okay. These are all the uh, games that uh, timed trials 
okay so you can actually go out there and uh, play these games for free okay uh, for a limited time you get you get to play I think what like an hour of it or something so you get to try these games to see if you like it and then if you do you could actually buy the full blown game but if you're if you're like if you're a good player shit some people can finish a whole game in an hour so yeah, it's a great deal you get to you get to try something it's great uh don't you think uh let me see here um let's go to there is actually um i wanted to show you guys there's to, this month there is a grand theft auto sale for play with the playstation 4 and that um let me see where is it here it is grand theft auto sale all right now this is what makes me mad because i went and bought grand theft auto 5 for forty nine dollars used at Best Buy. Guess what how much guess how much it is brand new, the full game downloadable to your PlayStation three is thirty nine ninety nine, ten dollars cheaper. Alright. Um Grand Theft Auto, the full game, uh the trial version is free, but this full game here is four dollars and seventy nine cents. Grand Theft Auto three is two dollars and thirty nine cents. Okay, these are uh, the uh, Steam prices, you know, if you think about it, you know, the PC fanboys love to brag about their Steam prices, don't they? Uh, Grand Theft Auto sales, uh, the entire, I mean, series, the entire series, Grand Theft Auto here, is all under five dollars. Some of them are like three, two. You can't beat it, folks. <laughs> wow, you know. Wow, that's some that's some great shit there. Wow. Um. Any more new arrivals? They got a bunch of indie games here. Uh, Unit Thirteen is free. Can't believe that. That's I I paid like twenty two dollars for Unit Thirteen when I bought my Vita. Shit. Um. If I knew that, if I knew this was going to happen, if I knew all these games were going to wind up so cheap or free, I would have just uh, not bought any games when I bought the Vita, and I would have just played all these all these games. I would have just bought these, you know. It's getting to the point where it's just pointless to go to GameStop now, because, you know, unless, um, I'm not going to knock them, because they, they sell the hard copies, and... And most of you want a hard copy of the game. They don't, you don't want it downloaded. And I'm not a big fan of downloading either. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's a real boxing game for five dollars. That's pretty damn cheap. You know, these are these are full blown Vita games and and PlayStation Three games, PlayStation Four games, whatever. And not it's not many PlayStation Four games out there right now, so they can't. You know, I don't, you can't really expect too much right now. You know, uh, other freebies, there's some, you know, add-ons and downloadable contents here. Uh, you know, little avatars that you could download and stuff, you know. Uh, little, you know, little additional stuff that they give you for free, you know. I, you know, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the Xbox One offers. I really don't. I'm sure they give you free stuff and discounts too. But I don't. I cannot imagine it being as this elaborate and this generous. I just, I don't, I just... What's the big deal, folks? Come on. If you buy anything else but a PlayStation 4, I'd have to say you're make, you're not making a very wise decision. Okay. It's your money. You spend it the way you want. Go buy what you want. Do what's making... I mean, I'll be honest with you. I have money where I can go buy a second and third system. And I have been thinking about maybe getting an Xbox to play Titanfall. But more than likely, I'm probably going to get a PC, a gaming PC, a little gaming PC to do that. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.